I apologize for the lighting again, but I promise you it won't be for the whole video. But because this came in the mail today and I know I'll be working the next few days for the light hours so I can't film it with proper lighting, I'm gonna open it now. And what is this? This is a stained glass print. It's a dress and it's from an indie brand called CEL. And oh my goodness, it is, I can't say dream dress, but it is my dream print style because the first dress that I fell in love in Lolita was a stained glass print from Moitier. And ever since then I've, I've loved them. And uh, not too long ago, uh, Innocent World made a stained glass print, but I couldn't even afford the skirt because the shipping and tax always double, double the price, so I couldn't get it. And now when I saw this for sale in Lace Market, I had to get it. It was about a hundred dollars. And it's mine! <gasps> Dream print! Yay! I'm always so paranoid when I open this that I cut off the skirt or something. Or in this case, dress. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, it comes with a bow thingy. I'll show close-ups with better lighting later. <laughs> yes! Oh, oh, it comes with a detachable did not know that. I was expecting only a dress. Okay. I love this print. Oh. Stained glass. Oh, it's so pretty. And I love the square neckline. <laughs> Yay! Okay, I'm gonna try it on. And when I get the chance to film with actual sunlight, I will show you close-ups of the dress and the coordinate that I come up with this. This is what the dress looks like from the front. This is the detachable collar. I really like the lace. And the waist tie, I prefer this side. The other side has some kind of religious text on it, but I, I think I'll use this side. And I really love the print because it has so many colors that I can cord the dress with and I really love the lace as well. This is the back side without the color and I apologize for <laughs> the wrinkles on the dress. It had corset lacing from a black velvet thread but I took it out because it fits me nicely and I really like that the base fabric isn't just black or gray it has kind of diamonds in it and I really like the lace on the back and on the front when there is no color. I'm happy with how the dress fits. I knew it was gonna be a bit short for my taste and at least it's slightly roomy on the waist as these usually are because I'm an odd body shape but I still took the lacing out in the back 
because it's too much of a hassle to deal with this and it's not too big so I'm happy like this and since I now have a bit more time than I usually do when I'm filming these I thought I would show you different kind of coordinates that I plan on making with this so the first coordinate that I have on now is a very toned town, almost old school kind of, with only uh, a simple pendant, black hat, a shirt that has crosses on it, and my shoes are just basic black boots. And this is the first coordinate that I came up with. In this outfit I wanted to incorporate more white, but without using the color bit. I took the belt now and put on a white shirt, a greyish cameo, cameo ring, and I put on tights with silver bunnies and then white shoes. And this has more of an everyday look still, at least to me. And I love this headband. And this is the second outfit. I like this belt. It kind of chops off the midsection, looking it, making it look a bit shorter, but I still like it. I don't think I'll use it every time, but I definitely use it sometimes. And this was the cord based in white. With this outfit I wanted to play more with the religious themes, so I added a bunch of crosses and stained glass tights as well. And I think a better headpiece could have been a bonnet, but I don't own one. Or then an old school headdress, but my only one is red, so no. But this is the coordinate that I put up. As for shoes, I have ankle boots with ruffles on them. And I put the waist tie so that it shows the text side, which is the brand and some kind of religious text. And I, I kind of like it like this. I somehow always get the feeling that these are more of a costume. I still love them and I of course don't judge other people but I don't think I will wear this as often but I love the dress and this is my third outfit. And lastly even though there are heaps of snow outside I wanted to do a summer theme cord because, let's face it, summer will come as it will every year. So I thought I'd try something a bit lighter with a shorter wig to keep the heat out of my neck, a hat to slightly cover my eyes or because it's pretty either way, some blue jewelry and a short-lived shirt. And sheer tights and blue shoes. I also wanted with this cord to pull from all the blues that are in the print. There are also lots of greens and reds, but I don't I don't have enough time to <laughs> do all the cords that I would want to now. And that's good because that leaves something new for the future me to sort out, but this was my unboxing and coordinating video, and I hope you liked it. Tell me which chord was your favorite. And I have now gathered suggestions and video requests in my YouTube About page. You can check those out. And if there's something else that is not in there that you'd like me to do, leave a comment down below, and I will try to do it. And I'll see you again next Wednesday. Bye!